Friday morning, Kennedy Dragons. We are glad that you're here. Today is Friday. It is October 15th. It is the 47th day of school. Um, I'm Mr. Butcher, and it's my job to keep you guys safe so that you guys can show us how excellent you can be. We hope that you left your average at home or on the bus, and you're ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Fridays, of course, is Dad Joke Fridays. I'm going to stick with the fall autumn theme so why did the scarecrow win a prize he was outstanding in his field <laughs> all right now to our responsibilities our jobs the things that we have to do with a smile that we do with a smile on our face and giving perfect effort one of our first responsibilities is to show be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country. We do this by saying our Pledge of Allegiance, doing our school pledge, as well as doing our moment of silence. When we do the pledge, we want to stand up tall, we want to put our hand on our hearts, we want to do the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. Leaving us in the pledge and the school pledge today is Miss Beletza. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Another responsibility that we have is to try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. The best way we can do this is to make sure we wash our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to use soap and water. If you don't have soap and water, you can always use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And you want to make sure that you are washing all parts of your hands, the palms, the backs, the fingertips, in between your fingers, your thumbs, and your wrists. And you want to be doing it for at least 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and model that right now. Get yourself some hands sanitizer or soap and water. Let's get the palms of our hands. Two, three, four, five. Get the back of your hand. Two, three, four, five. Get the back of the other hand. Two, three, four, five. Get in between your fingers. Two, three, four, five. Get your fingertips. Two, three, four, five. Get your other finger set of fingertips. Two, three, four, five. Get your thumb. Two, three, four, Five, get your other thumb, two, three, four, five, get your wrist, two, three, four, five, and your other wrist, two, three, four, five. And now your hands should be nice and clean. Now that we've done our hand washing, our moment of silence, our pledge, um, let's go ahead and start the day with birthdays. We're going to do today's as well as the weekend's. Today, happy birthday to Madeline Brock, who's 11, Landon McGuire, who's 7. On Saturday, Melanie Chavu will be 11. Emily Lopez Hernandez will be nine, and Miss MJ in the cafeteria, she will have a birthday. On Sunday, Tommy Robinson Pickett will be nine years old. We'll make sure that you guys get your birthday. Another responsibility that we have each day is to make our lunch choice. For lunch today, we'll be having personal pan pizzas, alliteration, sweet yellow corn, some good um, describing words, additives, fresh baby carrots, two more additives, and tropical another adjective fruit you can also get a cookie if you do not want personal pan pizza alliteration you can always get yogurt and muffin or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but make your lunch choice time for another fall autumn dad joke what is a scarecrow's favorite fruit strawberries one of our goals is to increase our vocabulary we do this by doing our picture of the week. Here's our picture of the week. Uh, yesterday, we asked you to do uh, adjectives and adverbs, those words that describe. They tell you, give you a little bit more detail about things, tell you what kind, which one, which, how many, where, when. 
those are the things they describe adjectives and adverbs. Miss Kinney and Miss Ham were two classes that participated with adjectives. Miss Kinney had uh, Aria, the old lady is wearing a purple dress. Taylor said, there is a black rug in front of the door. Um, Raylan said, the table is rectangular. Uh, Bentley said, the TV has purple, blue, orange, pink, yellow, and green colors on it. Um, Peyton said, the carpet in front of the door is rectangle with a circle on it. And Abigail said, the exit sign is red. Ryland, Raylan said that the lights are out on the, in the, on the, the lights on the ceiling are round, round lights. Good job. Aria said, the open sign is black. Excellent job. And then Miss Ham, Mark exclaimed kindly, adverb, I have missed you for a long time, adjective. What have you been up to? Barack happily, adverb, replies, well, I was the president. Mark gushes, I'm so proud of you. The two men sit at a long table and have an excellent lunch. Great job. So today we're looking for prepositions, and we know that prepositions are words that show a relationship between two nouns. They can, and they act like adjectives or adverbs. Um, like the man is beside the table or is um, uh, the lady is sitting on a chair. So those are what you can look at. So look for prepositions and prepositional phrases. Fall dad joke number three. What do you get when you drop a pumpkin? Squash. <laughs> it's time for our morning message. Our morning message today is on wisdom, respect, choices and listening. There's an old American proverb that goes like this. A still tongue makes a wise head. In other words, if you're always talking, if your tongue is never still, you might not hear the wisdom that others are trying to share with you. Sometimes it's important to sit quietly and listen to those who are a little older and a little wiser. They've already done what you are just now trying to do. Today, make the choice to be still and listen to our daily words of wisdom. You might learn to make better choices, and when you make better choices, it's a good thing for everyone. Something to think about on Mr. Butcher. Make today your masterpiece or not. Remember the choice you are. And remember that when your teacher's trying to talk or teach, and you're talking, you're running your mouth. That's not a still mouth. And a still mouth does not, a still mouth does not, a still mouth makes a wise head, makes you smarter. Just don't talk so much. Listen. That's why God gave you two ears and only one mouth. You guys right, our school good. monthly school store is coming up soon. Um, we're going to have a K through two store and we're going to have a three through five store. Um, we are selling uh, dumb dumb lollipops for 10 points. Um, we don't have a limit on those. We're selling gum uh, for 25 dragon points. There's uh, unlimited on that. We are selling uh, Panda Express kids meals for 50 dragon points. There's only 12 of those. We're selling these awesome Visco stickers like these right here. They look like that. And another one. We got a whole bunch of different stickers. We're selling these for 50 and we have 30 of those still available. Uh, you can be a person that signs up to say the pledge on the announcements for 75 dragon points. There's only seven of those. You can still get a KES lanyard, the fancy lanyard, for $75. And then this month, for 100 Dragon Points, you can pay to teach me, Mr. Newpert, or Miss McClenny a TikTok dance, and we will record it and post it on social media if your parents give out their permission. So, for 100 Dragon Points, teach and record a... TikTok dance with either me, Mr. McCoy, Mr. not Mr. McCoy, Mr. Newport, or Miss McClain. Sounds like fun. Last fall dad joke for the week. This one you may not understand it. It's kind of a different great vocabulary lesson though. Who helps little pumpkins cross the street? Crossing gourds. You may have to explain that one. Still under our mask mandate, so we want to make sure that we are making sure that we're wearing our mask correctly. So when we put them on, make sure they're covering your nose and your mouth. Make sure they're tied around your ears so they're not hanging down. You guys have a great day. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe.
and you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed to student, student success. success. I love you very much. Have a great Reading books are just fun, but second, we want to make sure that we are trying to build our vocabulary. Vocabulary is the amount of words that we know and can use in context the right way. Um, two, we want to model what good readers do when they read, which is to read fluently, reading the words correctly at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow. And we want to make sure that we model what good readers listen for when they are reading so that they can comprehend what they or understand what they're reading. Uh, good readers listen for the story elements, the uh, characters, who or what the story is about, the setting, where and when the story takes place, and the sequence of events, what happens first, next, and last, and also to those main ideas and supporting details that lead to that. So here's our book for the day. It's called Dear Little Fish by Andre Dahan. Hopefully I said the name right. Dear Little Fish. Dear Little Fish, I love you so. I'll feed you bread so you will grow. Each day I'll give you, give you one sweet kiss and promise you I'll never miss. But on the day, my dear little fish, you grow too big for your small dish. I will take you to the sea and in one move, I'll set you free. How you'll be so glad to go, dear little fish, I miss you so. I will wait through the day to see if in your turn you turn around this way. And I will wait all through the night to see if you come back in sight. Oh, I will throw my only hat, see if you will bring it back. And the fifth and the first joy that I will see is when you bring it home to me. Your back will be my favorite boat and together we will sail and float over the river and cross the sea to a small island with a palm tree. There we will both live and play, catch the hat by night and day. And I will know your love for me, for you came home when I set you free. Dear little fish.